In this part of the striking unit, we will be using a racket. You will need to try to find some of the following equipment. Maybe a bean bag, a ping pong ball, a wiffle ball, a tennis ball, a balloon. If you don't have that equipment, just make up some stuff. Maybe instead of a bean bag, you can use a sock ball. You also need to find a racket. You could use a badminton racket, a ping pong paddle, a tennis racket, or maybe make your own racket out of a stick and a paper plate. Before we begin, we need to know the parts of the racket. The large flat area where we hit the object is called the head. The area where we hold the object at the end is called the handle. The area that connects the handle to the head is called the shaft. At the top we have the head, in the middle we have the shaft, at the end we have the handle. The same thing for a table tennis paddle. Head, shaft, handle, only smaller. Greetings. Let's go over some parts of the uh, racket. one have what's called the head, have what's called the shaft, and then we have what's called the handle, the part that we would hold. Head, shaft, handle. Same would apply for our ping pong ball, our tennis table rack. Head, shaft, and handle. Only a little smaller. Head, shaft, handle. Let's review the proper grip. I hold my hand out like I'm going to shake hands with someone. And I grab the handle. Close down on it. Hold your hand out like you're shaking hands. Put the handle in there. Close down on it. We have our ready position. Ready position. Feet shoulder, a little bit past shoulder length apart, one foot forward, have my paddle ready, and I'm in this position right here. Ready position. We want to learn how to use the paddle. When my palm goes forward, that is a forehand. When my palm goes back and the back of my hand goes forward, that's a backhand. Forehand. Forehand, backhand, backhand, ready position. Those are the parts of the bracket. Those are the positions for the ready positions. Those are the two different strikes that we'll be using 